What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are looking at uh, one of the projects that has been doing big things called Big Time. Big Time. I believe it's a gaming project. I don't know for certain because, uh, you know, I don't pay that much attention to brand new coins. Not going to lie. All I do is look at the charts. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at what the possibilities are here. So, as you can see, we hit an all time high at 99 cents, just short of a dollar what a shame gosh the, they just couldn't push it up there or did it or did it nope they didn't 99623 is possibly the absolute peak that's great we consolidated down but it does look like we have a breakout and a possible back test happening I'm waiting that extra hour and 12 minutes to see if this is real because we have two measured moves first measured move is the width of the falling wedge which is 54 percent setting a slightly lower high which would be at 96079 if this holds keep in mind keep in mind considering we did get so hot we also got our 50 percent retrace there's still a possibility we come back down here for the back test on the wedge which would possibly be down here somewhere around 55.3 and 52.6 at this level of support. Keep that in mind. So if you were to jump into a trade based off this level of support, you would want a very tight stop loss because if you lose that level, you're likely coming down to this level at 5.2, or no, no, at 6.3.3, nope, I had it right, 5.2608. So more than likely you would come down there. Now, of course, all of you are like, what do you mean two measured moves? 54% is great. Eh, technically, uh, from a technical standpoint, the, the craziness could ensue, and you see something like that, where it would project you up to anywhere between 137.8 and this FIB level at 148.8, which would then yield you a hmm, possible... 126 percent upside noted if you do come down to this lower level it would be a slight bit lower so it would give you 144 percent upside seeing that dollar and 30 cent level which hey dollar and 30 cent not bad not bad we just have to wait for these candles to close wait for the four hour and possibly wait for the daily make sure you are holding this level as support because you did go up very, very fast. Looking at the daily, you're still hanging out in overbought territory. Noted, you can always be in overbought territory on these altcoins. I mean, days on end. You could be overbought like crazy. But as you can see, we did fall below yesterday. We are currently trying to take back the level. So if we get a daily candle close above this level, that would put in place where the 54% likely could happen. But then you also have the possibility of this happening, where you're going a bit higher, just a bit higher. So that's what I'm seeing out of big time. Look, seems like a good opportunity right now for a trade, and you can leverage this bad boy, which is just, just outright sickening, if you ask me. Just outright sickening. I'm kidding. I, I love that you can leverage it. But um, yeah, anyways... That's what I got on big time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the trades, enjoying the gains that are out there. Check the links down below. Also, drop a comment. Should I start doing some live streams here on YouTube? Considering I do all my live streams over on Twitch. Link is in the description below. But also, um, yeah, jump into the Discord. Great place to keep in touch. Also, I post up all of these trade setups that I end up finding. So if you uh, want to join in and get notified first... That's the place to be. Anyways, hopefully you're having a great day, great evening, great afternoon, wherever you might be, and I'll catch you later.